Hello my friends. I'm working on a pretty big canvas today and my plan is to do a swipe. Um, I, I would like to have it in the vertical orientation but it's easier to record it this way horizontally but I think this will be the top and this will be the bottom so that's what I'm going for. Um, white base coat which I'll pause and put down but the colors are going to be gold this beautiful pharaoh pharaoh's Ferro, gold from modern masters this pretty little um tahiti blue art mines ultramarine blue soho and you know you don't have to use these brands but they're just what i happen to have and then i mixed a color this is um I thought about going with this, it's burnt orange. And so I mixed the whole thing burnt orange, but then I decided I wanted to darken it a bit. So I had just a little bit of the English brown and came up with this color. So it's just a very warm brown. So that's that. And then my swipe color will be black, just Artist Loft black to which I've added a couple of drops of silicone. And I am using Artist Loft White, so, you know, it may sell up, which will be fine for my swipe, but just to be absolutely certain, that's why I added a couple of uh, drops of silicone to the black. Okay, so let me clear, get ready here, and I will lay down the white off camera and return and Get swiping. Okay, got the white laid down. And I didn't tilt it like I normally would to spread it around. I used a big um, cake spatula. And I don't know, we'll see how that how that goes. I hope it's it's spread thin enough to, to work with a swipe, but I just decided to do it that way this time, so we'll see what happens. And I left a gap here because I want a nice concentration of my colors. So my plan is to just fill in the gap. Starting with the ultramarine blue. And then the brown I made, kind of a uh, bronze, I guess. And Pharaoh's gold. Tahiti blue, and I'll just put that on top of the, um, alongside the blue. There we go. Okay, and now my swipe color, and I've mixed mixed the silicone in well. Black. Oh, look at that! I've got some uh, gaps of. I'm, I don't like that. I'm going to fill in those gaps. Scrape up a little bit more white. Could add some more color. I am going to add some more color. I've had this problem before where I had little tiny gaps and it was an issue. So yeah, I'll just add some more uh, gold there. Okay, and now the black. Oh, 
All right. Now my swipe material is just some plastic. I cut up some heavy plastic that was around a box of something. I don't know recall what. And it's sturdy but lightweight. So I'm just going to try to carefully set it down and pull it along slowly. Pretty. Ooh, look at that. And I expect it's going to fade into almost nothing on here. Oh, okay, good. That's kind of what I was hoping to see. I forgot to bring paper towel out here. Um, I really want to clean that off well. One second. Oh, that's fun. All right, now I'm going to go this away. Oh, and I'm going to go on this side. I have a narrower piece for there and over here. I just want it to look intentionally like I did the two sides a little different. There we go. like it. Hmm. Okay. Now, the smaller piece is here. I wish that ultramarine blue showed more. It's kind of lost under there, but it's very pretty. Okay, I'm going to overlap slightly and hope that I don't get a big worm where the two meet. Yeah, a little bit. Well, maybe that adds some interest, having that uh, gap there. I have to say that because I've got a gap there. <laughs> I don't mind it, though. All right, and now one more. I wonder how much of this is because of silicone and how much is because of the artist loft. Man, I love it. I'm very happy with it. Uh, next time I... I'll try another one. I have a little paint left over. Maybe I'll try it without the silicone and see what that looks like. False alarm. I've got to wipe, wipe off the white there. In fact, I'll use the other edge. There we go. I just love watching that happen. Okay. Well, 
Well, well, well. Look at the size of these things. <laughs> That's crazy. Am I done? I think I might be done. Wow, the blue is in between the white cells there. That's pretty. Huh, I rather like it. Let me take you in to look closer at some of these areas. I've never seen such big cells before. Look at that. Compared to my my thumb. I mean they're bigger than my my thumb. They're huge. <laughs> That's funny. Then they get a little smaller towards the center. So I like that, the variety of sizes. Little hints of blue here and there. And up here is what I want to show you where there's blue in between. I think that's kind of fun and surprising. I don't know. It's fairly simple, really, but I, I think I like it. I'll let it dry and then decide if I need to, uh, you know, enhance it in any way, change it up. For once, I'm not going to tilt. I love to tilt things, but I'm going to leave this one alone. <laughs> okay, my friends, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Well, my friends, I'm back. This is the next day. I'm about to move it to a drying area, but I had to show you the changes. Look at those cells or lacing eyes, more likely, on the bottom there. That one is like a flower shape. I really like it a lot now. I'm thinking that I don't need to embellish it in any way, although I do have an idea. And not too much change in the, in the blue area, but in the top, Maybe it got a little bit, um, expanded a little bit more flower shapes. I'm really very happy with it. And on this large canvas, it's a 20 by 24. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, it makes quite a statement. I love the simplicity of, of it. So there you have it. And... If I can figure out how to tack this onto the end, which I've already uploaded, I will. If you're seeing it, I did. So thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.